Hi, I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of super throwing. Guess what? I have invented a cool crime fighting boomerang that I can use to take out the baddies. It's called the Nanorang. What do you mean you can't see it? It's right there. I mean, it's a Nanorang, so obviously it's very, 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 very tiny. Hang on, let me show you how it works. See? Cool, huh? What was that? You didn't see that either? Hmm. Well, trust me, it's pretty cool. The thing is, if I'm going to take out the baddies from a safe distance, I'll need to learn how to throw it really, really far. Not just around the room. Which is why I need the power of super throwing. Maybe, if I understand how throwing works, I can work out how to throw farther and faster, and that would be awesome. Huh. Now to throw things really far, you need a big force. You can get this force from the equipment that you use to do the throwing, and we can use something called a lever to generate and increase this force every time we throw something. A lever is a rigid object that moves around a fixed point, which we call the fulcrum. When you put something heavy at one end of the lever and apply a force at the fulcrum end, the heavy object moves. Our bodies actually have lots of examples of levers, like our elbows. Our elbows are actually a type of joint called a hinge, where two bones meet. In this case, it's the bone in the upper arm, called the humerus, <laughs> funny, and the two bones in the lower arm called the radius and the ulna. Elbows are a great example of levers. When you hold something heavy in your hand and try to lift it, the lower arm acts as the lever. The weight is at one end and the other end is at the fulcrum, your elbow. That's the thing that stays in one place while the lever moves it around. Let's say I throw something using just my arm. All the power has to come from the muscles in my upper arm. These are called the bicep and the tricep. And these two muscles work together to power your elbow joint. And if I want to throw really, really far, these are the muscles that we will be using. So if we're going to understand how to throw things better, we'd better first learn how our arm works. For this experiment, you will need strong card, a ruler, a wooden skewer, scissors, blue tack, sticky tape, two elastic bands, a pencil, and a pen. First, you're going to draw and cut out two oval shapes on the card, both of them about 15 centimeters long and about five centimeters wide. And then the same again. Okay, I'm going to cut these out. These are going to be the upper and the lower arms. Perfect. Now, use the wooden skewer to make one hole at one end of each of the ovals. Okay, now you're going to take one of the ovals and make two holes at the opposite end. This is going to be your humerus, and it starts at your shoulder and ends at your elbow. So these two holes are going to be where our elastic bands attach. I'm going to label this one with the name humerus, so we know that's what it is. Next, you're going to cut both of your elastic bands open, so they become elastic strings. Okay, check that the length of each is about the same, which they are. And so these elastic bands are going to represent our muscles, which are attached to the humerus. This one is going to be the bicep, and the one underneath it is going to be the tricep. We're going to poke the elastic band through each of the holes and then tie a knot. This one, there's the other one. So this is to make sure that they don't slip through. We'll just tape them down to make sure they stay in place. So there you go, you should have your humerus, which has two pieces of elastic band about the same length coming out of the two holes. Now take the other piece of card. This is going to be the forearm, and there are two bones in your forearm, the radius and the ulna. So I'm going to label those as well. Now you're going to make three holes in the other end of this oval using your skewer, with the first hole right by the end. 
There you go, three holes. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the long ends of your elastic bands and you're gonna need to attach them to the forearm in the same way as before by making a knot at the back of the card. So the tricep attaches to the back of the elbow. So this one needs to go to the hole right at the base of the forearm card, here. And the bicep attaches in front of the elbow joint. So the hole that it needs to go through is on the other side of where the skew is gonna go, in the middle, here. Now we're going to make an elbow joint. So we're gonna cut three centimeter piece off your wooden skewer. Now you're gonna poke it through the humerus and then through the center hole close to where our elastics are here, like that. Now using a little bit of blue tack, hold this skewer in place. I'm gonna make a sausage shape like this. And on the back. The wooden skewer is the elbow joint and this is gonna act as the fulcrum in this lever system. Remember that the fulcrum is the pivot point of a lever system. Try it out. You should be able to see that when the arm moves, one elastic band stretches while the other one contracts. This is how pairs of muscles like the bicep and the tricep actually work. One of them is always generating power while the other one is resting. So they can keep on working without you getting tired. Now the last thing that we need in our model arm is a hand at the end of this. So draw out a little hand shape and attach it to the end of your card. I'm going to stick my hand on there. There we go. Okay. Now for the moment of truth. Can we use our elbow to lift something? Hmm. Let's start with something light. Oh, I know. My little lab partner, Nano Nano Girl. Here she is in my pocket. Nano Nano Girl, are you ready to be lifted by my elbow? What's that? You were just lifted by my elbow. No, not this elbow. I mean, the one we've made. She says yes. Okay, we're gonna pop her onto the hand here. Take a look at this. Now, when I lifted Nano Nano Girl, my bicep contracted, which helped me bring the forearm up. Try it yourself. You can feel the muscle moving if you do it on your arm. So, if I move my arm up, you can feel the bicep muscle here contracting or stretching out. And if you put your hand underneath here, you can feel your tricep too. It worked, the experiment was a success. And now we understand how our arms work. The next step is to work out how to supercharge our own arms so we can throw really, really far. What's that, Nana Nana Girl? You don't want to be thrown really far. What gives you that idea? When have I ever thrown you before? All the time? Hmm. That might be true. You'll only be thrown if you get a box of cookies. Hmm. We'll negotiate on that. Enjoy your arm and I'll see you guys tomorrow.